Haro. <clears throat> Let's go proving. Oh, do What's going on? Kiros, speak to me. Who are you? Speak. <laughs> yes. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. <laughs> I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're going to let me in? I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Correct. Not I'm everyone like follow the law. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Where are you going, Rust? Take this, too. Remember. Oh. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This. Ah, uh, I, I know now. I understand. Ross is the final boss. Then good readings. Ah, brain. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. Wow. Very nice. No hugging? <laughs> Let's hug. I have to let him go. Mana? Ross. First the proving. Tak terikat. Tak terikat kat baju dia. Let's go. Whoa! Proving! Yeah! Let me prove! Hmm. 
You will turn back outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. <laughs> I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've How been waiting know? for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Karja. Come to observe the proving. Not the Karja. The Nora hate the Karja. Karja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I old don't friend. know anyone here. <laughs> Little boss. I'm telling him that. Uh, we will talk later. Okay. May the goddess Tip. protect. What is going on? Wow. This is Skyrim. Are you doing fire? Fire breathing? Oh, do it! What? Are you going to breathe fire? <laughs> Thanks, boy. I mean, I like it, but why? I like it. Yeah, you know, you know. Can I see? No. What is doing? Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Hello. What is it? Why well, is someone else? Damn, that's not my friend. How does a forest fire? I'm waiting for my sister. Aloy, it's you, isn't it? Over here. Major. It Why? is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A ah. maker of and armor. Can I get any outfits? In preparation for this day, Ooh. I've made an outfit for you. Oh! I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Oh. Oh. Oh, for no extra protection. Damn you, Tab.
I'm a stealth warrior. to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building. <laughs> angry angry mob. mob waiting outside. Tirsa <laughs> said something about envoys from another tribe. Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. I will buy later. Hey, yes, Alana, Alara. people's roofs, huh? <laughs> what an idiot he is. Every year this happens, every year. At least Listen he's not trying to run now, a brave trail. For you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. Carter in the beginning, my little sister in their all raids, life came from, from all mother. Forgive them, for I sure people, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them. The machines. Promised to serve them. To make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. A world of metal. They told the faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had hmm. promised. They built cities, great and terrible. Monuments to their sins, but they would not serve the faithless for long. Hmm. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other. The Metal Devil. The Metal Devil, yeah, and very nice. The faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her and prayed more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. Ooh. In his fury, he came to confront oh, no. All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down forever, as you know. For his lifeless body is up there still. Oh yeah, my name? Frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of all mm. mother. 
We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft. But never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows. Searching for little more boys and girls who have... <laughs> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. <laughs> Interesting. Listen carefully now. For you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life... Oh yeah, quite a... I got a new one. <laughs> God damn. Are you supposed to forget what the key is? Salah. All were her children. Aloy, over here. Eh! Hello. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? Joel! How could I forget? And how generous Joel you can talk to me now? Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't tomorrow. wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. <laughs> I will hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. <laughs> ah. Oh, did you have a name? Hahaha, <laughs> Oh, ada, ada protection skin. We shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. An annunciation of gratitude Sun priest. written Killers by the hand of the Sun King of Killers and Slaybats! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your God. fruit, Nora, uh, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. 
Who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had father. to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. yeah! The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <coughs> Evil of the Nora. Well, on the eve of your proving, proving unknown device to know that I must have just stand with you far this as time. the sun's light braves the stoutest trees. As though He's wearing a focus, you have nurtured, just like mine. Take their places, some on your braves. We join You're the only other friends. person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. <laughs> Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? Yeah. I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. <laughs> I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but... You really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was in war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the sun god, it would oh. calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. Osram. Together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. This is <laughs> so now the sun sits on the throne Game of Thrones. and it's a big improvement. Under Avad there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. 
It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Hmm. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. Hmm. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Hmm. Smooth, or just come Aaron. to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather uh, direct. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. Mm. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as you were smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. Mm, I see. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. Like many so what's too. making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15 went a hunt, so it was, but then now, a few more, if that wasn't. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten. So what's. Uh, no one. Karja? Karja have such a cruel history. How did you no, end up serving new him? King, huh? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Meridian. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? I saw that in the. Where do I even start? In the. My tribesmen are masters Benchmark, of the right? forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky, reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. <laughs> or an invitation. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I've never seen armor like yours before. <laughs> You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora one. war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. Mm. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Tell me about Olin again. When he's not scrounging, <laughs> what I've known the NPC? I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Mother forget all that worthless deeds. Mana blessing. I'm a 
are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Hmm? Not talking. Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern Crafted by your mother. In eh. her honor, a little bust. It's flame. For myself. I don't know. I want to know my mother. In honor of my mother. Whose name I would know if she hadn't abandoned me at birth. Oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. Eh. So, wow. from one In to sync. another, Passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. How am I supposed to control myself? Manoli. Eh. Aloy, now that the blessing has been made. You and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you, given your circumstances. Found it beautiful. My circumstances are that I'm here to win the proving, not stand around muttering Nora prayers and lighting Nora prayer lanterns. Of course. Though, it pains me that your years of isolation from the tribe have spoiled what is for us a ritual of great beauty. Maybe isolation has given me the clearer view. A concern for results, not rituals. Whatever your view, it is yours, and I will respect it. I imagine you must have questions. <laughs> Why was I directly? Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? <coughs> What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us. If only in spirit. Damn you, Tiesa. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers. Real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? No! He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy. Damn! But Ross's then you, Tessa. past is another secret I must keep from you. It's a waste of time, Tessa. What else is new? <laughs> Ross told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach, offer counsel, give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three high matriarchs and some hmm. thirty lesser matriarchs. What's the difference? 
Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a high matriarch is a great-grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The high matriarchs most of all. So, the more children you have, the more authority you get? I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? Why does Lanzara hate me so much? She is a woman of extreme opinions. More than that, I cannot say. It's not my fault that I was born, or that the matriarchs decided to cast me out. I side with you in this matter, but there are differences of opinion, and any vote of the high matriarchs requires a majority. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the proving. It's not like the Nora to be so hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right, as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first <laughs> to exercise this right. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think, rather, it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13, who killed his mother. But at the proving five years later, he did not appear. No, oh, I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy. But the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Mm. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. <laughs> I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. The brew is even better than last year. That's a feat. Okay, Olin. Oh, Eren. That blessing wasn't bad. Nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. Oops. I hope I'm not throwing a wet blanket on your sacred ritual. It was nice. Really. Bye. Yeah, well, good luck in that proving thing. <laughs> uh, maybe <laughs> I'll see you in Meridian someday. Who knows? Okay, Aaron. Smell you later. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found a focus <laughs> in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. Hmm. When we spoke earlier, you winced. Then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. 
But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need. <laughs> I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <laughs> fast, fast, fast. What about Vala? She's strong. Blood of a war chief in her. Hey, Sun Priest! Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare gift indeed. But you don't believe in All Mother, do you? Usually the the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, hmm. I see a beauty that shines true. Hmm. Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren, who believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. Did you come all this way just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty. And also my honor to carry the light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it reemerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my shield, a good man. Who are you, Sun Priest? I am the Reverend Ereed. The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory, reflected. Reflect we Sun Priests are but glimmers of its great light. You just said a lot. <laughs> my apologies. My duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the sun king. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches whom the light barely touches, bearing warmth. So you live in Meridian? I do. Where better to mark the sun's divine passage than where the sandstone glows in the light of its passing? I was raised in the mesa's great shade, its wild bird markets and metal cellars, spices and colored silks. Colored silks? Sounds impressive. Oh, you should behold it. And you can if you make the journey. At his luminance's order, we have flung its gates open to all. Any Nora who leaves the sacred land becomes an exile. But hey... Who knows where I'll end up? <laughs> Why were the Karja at war with the Nora? Under the 13th Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us, though few volunteered to come here. The Nora scare you. They're good at making people feel unwelcome. <laughs> it's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But, <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. Who is the Sun King you speak for? His luminance Avad is the 14th King of the Radiant Line. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the Chosen of the Sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. You speak highly of him. Do you know him well? No. By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. We are his instruments, not his companions. I have been in his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. He's the sun, <laughs> power, and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. If your sun kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Uh, well, the sun's glory is a great and brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. If the vessel is flawed, indeed in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked, trialed and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. So the sun can make bad choices like anyone else? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Has there ever been a sun queen? Uh, 
Many wives and consorts, of course. Or, oh, you mean for the son to choose a queen. <laughs> this has not happened. Why not? The son is masculine, of course, and, and so would choose its heirs thus. Um, it's a light in the sky. I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, but women run things around here. Well, Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa. From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed. A woman and an outsider as well. She might make a fine sun queen, given a chance. A sun queen? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> this has been illuminating. illuminating. I should get going. Yeah, it's been uh, illuminating. You have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. Thanks, eat it. I'm the Sun Queen. Oh no. Where are we going? Oh. Hey, Oli. Look at me. Ten minutes. Motherless chuff. <laughs> Did you see? Again. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Look oh. who's come in from the wild. Little the motherless buff. outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. Oh, I dig it. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? Good kid she's got. Must be good at crafting. I don't listen to anyone who doesn't speak for generations. We saw Are you gonna you talking with the talk outsiders? I wouldn't. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? This is your battle to fight, not mine. Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's going to be with you, is it? This is how it's going to be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're going to lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know... I often think of the day I gave you that scar. <laughs> it's a <laughs> cherished <laughs> memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Manavala. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come girl. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Money. Oh. I don't share. Very nice. Let's go. I thought it was proving time. So? Your first day in mother's heart. What do you think? Eh. You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Too soft. <laughs> comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. Not this hard. Oh, fast! Very nice. Rust. No, that's not rust. Ah, tadi, got tadi. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? Razor. <laughs> Wait, I could not think of this. Display. Auto. Hmm? Ada pun auto Oh ni auto Ok Tak apa Mana? Ni bukan. Bukan. Good. And again.
Come. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. <laughs> Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. <laughs> it, it, that's a nice advice. Whoa, 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 whoa. My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! Thanks, That's thanks, man. Wave it forward now. Stop right there. Just turn around and climb. Who's in the lead? I can't see! Box! They follow right behind us. Come on now! Faster! Stop dragging! Gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up! How'd she get up there? This is gonna be close. Made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. Yes. They had a tribe, but I had the wilds. Precision. Not enough. Must be perfect. Oh. What machine is that? Living. The metal devil. Oh, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. <laughs> she didn't win! The outcast cheated! An outcast? Win the proving? Never! For she is a brave now. We did it. <laughs> as are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. Oh! Oh! Who did that? Oh! What is this? Vala! Vala is dead! Hey, I'm doomed. No, they're not Vala. Ah! You can't stay here. That's the way out. Make it under fire. They can't shoot if they're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Fast! Fast! Are you with us? I'm with you! Let's go. Now! Damn. Ah! What the hell, Vala? Vala is dead. Too many of them! We can't Should win! I? Safe? So that's it. Ah, what the heck? <laughs> we can't hold them! Fire. Oh mother, help us! Kill the invader! Kill the 
They're too strong! We can't stop them! survivors. Stay together. Oh no, there's more. They keep coming. How many are there? Now, Valla. descend while we have a chance. Whoa! Get back! Machine gun, bitch! Oh, I want you. Oh, 
Ah, wait. Machine gun, wait. Hey, no. Enemy leader. neck <laughs> this again. <laughs> Doctor Octopus. There is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. <laughs> Turn your face to the sun, child. Rost. Oh, that that heel neck. Oh. <sighs> 
So. They, they must have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Who on the mountain? Where am I? Okay. That was good. Search for your focus. Jane, bye bye.